Okay, welcome everyone. Today is a different sort of video. Today's day of the report is for the Stargate Chevron 7 client mod, also by the mod division. Now today what I'm going to be covering is the Naquita Generator Mark II. Naquita generators are an advanced reactor unit that produces tremendous amounts of energy, of clean energy, from small amounts of Naquita. Uh, Naquita is a common material but uh, in the galaxy but not found on Earth's solar system. Such a reactor contains enough reactants to generate an explosion of 20 kilotons following an overload. It has been said that it would take 30 seconds for the generator to overload, estimating peak power in this case is difficult since it is unknown if the liberated energies would be solely provided by the build-up phase, in which case the peak power capacity of the reactor could be estimated, uh, or if it would be due to the reaction of all remaining Naquita, triggered by the initial explosion from the overload. As a result, Naquita generators can be turned into a powerful bomb, which the Atlantis expedition has Im implemented as a self-destruct me mechanism for the city of Atlantis as a safeguard from the Wraith. If such an explosion occurs, an electromagnetic pulse is generated, generated, <laughs> similar to a nuclear explosion. So what the, so what the Naquita generator is is basically a power generation unit that powers gates. I mean, stargates uh, power some of Atlantis's systems. It's, it's like, it's hard to describe. It's just really powerful, and it can be used as a bomb. The Mark, Mark II series was developed, and it is capable of achieving 600% of the power output of the Mark I Naquita generator. It operates in a state of barely controlled overload and is quickly depleted. Nevertheless, two of these devices can power an ancient control chair for a limited number of uses. Now, uh, now the ancient control chairs are normally requiring a zero-point module to operate. Uses of a Mark II Naquita generator include... Powering a Stargate without a dial home device on another world for interstellar dialing out, either manually or dialing program installed laptop. Temporarily powering various alien devices should their own power source be depleted. Powering the Prometheus and Daedalus class warships. A miniature Naquita generator was used to power the X-699 directed energy weapon, Earth's first directed energy weapon, which that means laser gun phaser powering the control chairs in the Antarctic outpost in Atlantis while in a state of barely controlled overload which means that if it if you tax it too much it'll blow now the the mark II can also power parts of the city of Atlantis in lieu of zero point modules ZPMs now this what you're seeing in the video right now is the model rotating of course it's rotating what did i say but yeah of course it's rotating and you can see the specific details of the uh, mark II naquita generator and if you go to www.stargate.ikingsgc.com you can check out all the information about the mark II naquita generators as well as other features for the stargate uh, chevron 7 client mod to read the full daily report post Go to www.dailyreport.ikingsgc.com or click the link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.